What's going on everybody? Today I'm doing the Forza GT playlist. I'm doing 17 laps around Kailami. I'm using the Acura NSX. I put a quick tune on it and the car handles pretty well. It's very very uh what's the what's the word? It's it's pointy and I like cars pointy, right? But it's uh a bit slidey if I'm not careful, right? It's punishing. That's what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. So I've got 17 laps to handle a a handful of a car because I couldn't put a tune on it quick enough. However, it is still fast, so uh, I'm not too disappointed there. Uh, I set a pretty bad lap, but I was one of the only people to set a lap, so I, I wanted to kind of do that. I figured I was going to be the only person to set a lap, or a few. One of the few, since the lobby is pretty much full here. So, I've got a bit of an advantage here. I'm going to try and stick in front here in Kailami. 17 laps. I started with 10 laps of fuel and started on the hards, and that is my goal. I'm going to probably pit by lap 9 here, and then we'll see, we'll see what the strategy unfolds for us. Two pit stops is the call right now so we'll see where that takes us like I said down in the eighth and we're trying to pass this McLaren up ahead two Fords getting tangled and a Ford and a McLaren going off battling the McLaren passing the Porsche that went off now into fourth as we pass the McLaren here and right behind the Ford GT, who's in third, a gold Ford GT at that. So, we'll see what we can do here. Behind the Ford GT. Dom, yet again, actually, in the previous video, I believe we were racing him as well. Which is crazy. Very, very slidey through there. But, we make it out alright. We're in fourth start off the race not terrible now I haven't really used the NSX too much I've kind of wanted to start using it and I'm not gonna lie I'm not I'm not unpleased I'm I'm rather impressed by the car the livery is awesome too the Alpha Tori livery but I will leave the creators Gamer tag in the description. I got an NSX right on my rear here. I'm gonna cheekily defend him off here. Not a fantastic getaway there. I'm gonna get passed up by the NSX here. He's gonna put me in a fifth, but he's got a two and two one five. Wow, I'm... Okay. He is fucking closing me out. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so he's got a penalty. He's got 2.25 seconds on him. And he... I, I, I don't even know, man. He shut me out like a mofo there. So, we're on the tail of the Acura here. And I'm getting hit by a McLaren, maybe. Sliding a lot from that. Keeping it very close with this McLaren here. And he's just he's going to drop me, and I'm going to slot right behind him. But we're down to sixth. Not a terrible position still. Out of 17 people. And we still got a lot of race left here. So, we'll see what happens. Third is right in arm's reach as well. So, we got that. Podium spot is still on the table for now. We'll see what happens during the course of the race here. The McLaren and the NSX get a little feisty here. I don't know what the NSX was breaking so early for. But that was not... That was... Kind of uncalled for, I'm not going to lie. I'm on a bit of an offline, which didn't really help me either. All it did was hurt, and it dropped me down into 7th. A 
the Acura in front is kind of struggling to find his form, so we'll see what we can do. Hopefully pick him off. I got the Huracan on my rear right now. And these two are slowing each other down tremendously. The Huracan still trying to look for a move, but ends up backing out. Come on, car. There we go. Right behind the NSX here. I'm going to try and clear him so I can catch up to the M8 and everybody else up in front. The more important battles up there. It looks like the McLaren ahead's got it past the Ford. Getting really close to the Acura here. But get a little squirrely there. Not really good. Oh, the Expo came out of nowhere. Wow. All right. So we're battling the Expo here across the line. Who just appeared out of thin air. And it looks like the Huracan also is just making a move. But I'm going to make a move on the Expo. Pull it off somehow. The Huracan is going to get away. I'm down in the eighth. But I'm going to try and catch up to... This Huracan up ahead. Because my battle my battle that I had up there was slipping away right now and it's not good. Looks like the I got a Viper on my left here. It's Looking for a move, but backed out, thankfully. But a pretty overzealous. I got a conglomerate of people behind me trying to pass me. The Huracan is just slipping away but it looks like people are colliding up here the Acura and the Ford I'm not quite sure what the Viper's trying to do here making me nervous though keeping it somewhat clean though so I respect it I respect it no switchback I was a little worried about that but nothing there like they must have collided back there or something looks like they're doing three wide up in a turn one two and it's looking a bit crazy but I'm gonna try and take advantage of what's going on up here still in the eighth on lap five still a raw a lot of race left so it looks like the Ford up ahead has Four tenths on his head for a penalty. Yeah, they're maintaining this like one second gap right now, and it's pissing me off a little bit. But now they're coming to me. They're coming to me. Slowing each other down. The Acura all the way up into 5th is pulling away now. And it looks like the Huracan had to make an early brake attempt there. Right on his rear. 
And I'm going to be looking for a move on the Huracan here. On lap six or earlier, if he just gives it to me like that. That'll... That was a, a dirty move on my part, so... I'm going to give Dom that place back after going down his inside, crashing into him. But him going on the dirt is not my problem then right there. That is all him. Keeping it clean with the Expo here, trying to at least who got the position off me while I was trying to give the place back to the Ford. Put me into eighth here, behind the Expo, behind the Ford. Ford is getting a little feisty there, but past him. It looks like somebody had made a mistake here. The NSX up ahead made a mistake. So, looks like the Huracan is going to probably get away after that. And the NSX is back all the way down here in the fight with me. We're in seventh. Not terrible. Not a terrible place. Still in the race for an okay position, and I'm happy with that. And the the tires aren't really dying too much either, so we're good on that front too. So I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with what's going on right now. And looks like the Expo is gonna finally get past the Acura. I'm going to try and pick off the Acura here as well. I'm also going to probably pit next lap. I know I'll probably put the rest of my race fuel in. That lap, I'm going to give the Acura a bit of a tap by accident, but he's also braking very early. He's taking a lot of curb there, and he's not going into the pits either. Looks like the Huracan had pulled off into the pits. My rears are the thing that are going out. Curious to see. 51, that's not terrible. We got, yeah, we got another lap in here. I'm not going to push them too far off. Another lap, because I don't really think that's worth it. And I really don't want this McLaren to me up too much but he's yeah he's gone ahead pushing me a little wide there and I'm um, losing tire grip a little bit so yeah it's like driving on ice cubes right now but um, I'm making up on the Acura here up ahead Car's making me a little nervous. I hate to hit the brakes on the straightaway like that, but making me nervous. About half a second down on this Acura. I believe we're both gonna pour into the pits. I'd be shocked to see if he didn't. And he's not going to. Alright. Bit of a shock, but that's alright. We're going in. I'm gonna put the mediums on and we're gonna put let the rest of the fuel in. I believe that's 20%. So, 3.3, I believe, that was the lap. I wasn't paying too much attention. And I didn't put I didn't put full fuel in. But that's fine. We'll do a bit of management and I guarantee you I won't be finishing off on mediums either probably going to be putting softs on the end which will be good like I said the it, it was a two stopper so 
that was the that was the play and I did the hard stint pretty well so I'm actually I'm excited to go on softs on that I gotta be pretty diligent with the mediums here on lap 8 in throughout the course of the the race here and Dom is behind me in the Ford who I'm I'm not sure how he's so far behind me but he is I I had an extra second to my pit stop usually because of the fuel that I had to put in but all right that's good for us I mean either way so we're in eighth as well and I know there's some people ahead that haven't even pit and it's pretty critical that we have an okay outlap here and I think we're doing not terrible not doing too bad car is actually handling fairly decent too I'm pretty pleased with it so <coughs> excuse me that is also nice though we don't have anybody going to the pits right now I'm gonna take a bit of an offline by accident and it's gonna dish me four tenths that that sucks but that's okay now quite curious to see what happens throughout the race the everybody seems pretty spread out right now I'm in a I'm in my own kind of no man's land territory the guy ahead is about three and a half and the forward behind is about five seconds out from me so we'll see if I can push up to the guy ahead I'm not even sure what he's in but like I said there's also people that haven't pit at all so I'm not really too sure what's going on there Losing a bit of time on the guy I had. Pretty bad turn up there that we did. I believe that's the Corvette right there. And it looks like somebody had gone into the pits now. The expo there, passing him. But he's also probably on the try for a one-stopper. That's what that looks like, which is a bit nerve-wracking for my race. It looks like he's coming up on me already. Now half a second out. We're going to be fighting with the Expo here. We're in a completely different strategy than him it looks like. Like I said. So. He did a 10 lap stint. Which is crazy to me. Drop him a little bit there. We're up pretty good on this lap too, so it's nice. Coming up on the final turn here to 
start our 11th lap of the race. Expo is still behind. He's lurking around. We're, we're going to probably have to hold him off eventually here. And he is just swooping on in there. We're going to do the switch back on him. And take that place back very cleanly. He came in on my fucking inside out of nowhere, man. That, like, shocked me there. Dropping him a little bit. He's about seven tenths back now. Yeah, he's definitely got more grip than me. We're dropping him slightly, very minutely. Again, that 10th back there. Wow, the tire wear is becoming evident right now. Very, very brutal. We're going to take that a little wide there. Not good, and we're going to... Slot behind the expo here. It looks like two people had gone into the pits already for a new set of tires. And I'm behind the expo here in the sixth. He's in the fifth. It's about half a second on me. I've still got that four tenths of a second penalty. I honestly was not really paying attention to. But I'm going to try and stick behind the expo. He's slightly faster than me on track. I don't. I mean, I think we're pretty similar, really, but got tire wear already, which is not great. I don't really like to see that. It means the set really only lasts me five laps, which is not ideal. And you'll probably be putting mediums on again. I'm probably going to be running them for one more lap here after this. I'm going to have to put uh, some more fuel in as well, but that's okay. Right behind the expo here. Still about half a second on me. Uh, he's dropping me slightly, but not crazy. I can do one more lap, yeah. I was I was a little nervous, but I can definitely do one more lap. The car's gonna be screaming at me, but we'll push for it. Someone else had gone into the pits, and I went off track a little bit there. I get another penalty, I'd be a little upset. No penalty. Good stuff. It looks like that was the M8 who poured into the pits. Coming out right now, and it looks like some people had a collision up here couple of the the back markers got moderate tire wear in the rears so probably not an ideal choice of oh, there's a Porsche probably not an ideal choice of uh, sticking out I've got moderate tire wear everywhere but that's fine we'll we'll be all right if we're smart with the car just it's a bit of a handful right now. Another Porsche up here who seems to be struggling down into 14th as we're about to lap. Said Porsche, I'm sliding horribly. Almost collected the M8 there. That was not good, but we recovered very quickly, so we'll just kind of carry on. I'm 
and we're going to throw ourselves into the pit, like I said, onto the mediums. Catch that car a little bit. Car is not really, not really happy with me. But I really needed to stay on another lap. Severe tire wear. Yeah, 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 game. I'm, uh, I'm aware. All right. We need five laps of fuel and a new medium set of tires. Custom. Uh, I guess we're doing 20% again. It's going to take us three seconds. All right, we're off here. 3.3. .3. Looks like somebody else was in the pits behind me. I'm not sure what place I'm going to come out in. Ninth. That is brutal. All right. Looks like the person ahead also made their stop. So we'll see. I'm on a lap newer tires than them. But I'm not really too sure how much of a difference that'll make. I'm in a very, very, very desert track place. I, like, there's nobody anywhere. 13 seconds in front and 13 behind is a, a tough one. But still a lot of race left. And I've got to be very careful with these tires. This is my last stint. So, I should probably be a little more diligent on track than what I'm doing right now. Looks like a about to, or I did lap the Porsche there again. After he probably unlapped himself, passing me while I was in the pits. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit. Looks like Dom in the Ford up ahead had not made his second pit stop yet, so That'll be good for us. That obviously means we're making up a place there. So there are people ahead who haven't pit yet. I guess I am not, not the earliest person to pit, but I'm definitely not the latest either. Car got a little squirrely there under braking. We're closing in on the Ford up here. It's only made one pit stop. There's two laps of race left. As I come across the line here momentarily. Not quite sure what he's doing. But now I'm going to start pushing a little harder. I've got, I've got a lot of tire life left in the two laps. So we'll see what we can do here around Kailami. We're going to try and gain eighth here because I don't want to be stuck in ninth at the end of the race. 
He's also got a heftier penalty than me, but I'm obviously going to try and make the overtake attempt anyways for, for my moral victory, I'd say. Closing in on him very, very quickly. Looks like he's going pretty slow, actually. We are two seconds behind him, and we're closing in. He is not doing full speed pace, it looks like. And we're passing the Ford here. Yeah, he's going really slow. He's not, it doesn't look like he's struggling, but he's going really slow. Final lap here on Kailami. And we are, we're in eighth. It looks like we're going to take home eighth, unless somebody makes a brutal mistake up in front. But we pass the Ford for eighth. And, uh, yeah, the question is, why is he going so slow? I got caught in the curb, but it is very good that the Ford is going slower than death itself. A, a pretty decent race, a little Vaseline said, at least good race, but that is a, that's a great name. But, yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty good race. 17 laps around Kailami was a, a, a handful I like this track, uh, and honestly, I thought the NSX handled great. The uh, the strategy had me for a bit of a mix-up when when my second stint, I uh, yeah, I don't know. I, severe tire wear while racing is not really what you want, and I was sliding everywhere at that point, so. It wasn't really great, but other than that, I mean, it was a pretty decent race. And I'm happy with the outcome. Eighth kind of sucks because we were in the battle for almost third at one point, but, you know, obviously with, with strategy and whatnot and whatever else comes into play, you know, things will happen. And I also had, you know, not many mistakes, but a couple, like one or two, which is inevitable, right? I mean... We're about to cross the line though here, finishing the race, 8th place, 32 minutes man, that is a, that's a long one, we were down one slot off our grid position, not terrible, it don't matter, I appreciate you guys for watching, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.